So let's move on to the next item of the agenda. Team Bravo advertised themselves as primarily French, but with a Swedish touch. They encompass architecture, urbanism, sustainability, and business and innovation. And they, I quote, aspire to provide an environmental engine that will inspire Gothenburg to take a position at the forefront of green thinking, communication, and production. So, as for the engine, start it up, Lars Lerup. Well, my father was in Dog Hammersfield. He was a scorning. And he also talked about walking. He said, if you know where people are going, don't listen to what they say. Look at their feet. In other words, we have all these politicians and all, those of us that talk all the time. We need some action. And these previous presentations are perfect for me. I'm very lucky to be here in the back because I can start with the first slide and say, are we going to be victims of climate change? Or are we going to be the leaders and victors of climate change? Neither. We had an experience last night. We put some loca next to a, a computer and spilled on it. That was a mini inundation that told us that you cannot do either of these things. You have to be a different kind of approach to your city. So, we are not alone. St. Petersburg, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Jakarta, and Gothenburg over here, with a big watershed in the back and the big global ocean pounding at the door. Are we going to play in that same game? Or are we going to stay outside? Are we going to take this rich understanding we have of climate? This city has been exposed to climate, to, but, to top climate, for a very long time. They know wind and sleep and cold weather more than, better than anyone. So who are better to face this future than Göteborg? <laughs> I speak with some genetic pride here, since my mother was from here. <coughs> now, we need to get those politicians to do something for the city. So the first thing we need to do is to go, what, what did you do? It's K2, K, go. Schopenhauer, Göteborg, Oslo. Those need to be connected, and we are right in the middle. We cannot let that speed train go by us. We must latch onto it. And on top of this, oh, you see those blue bugs that run through the city? Very charming. They need to go to a boneyard. You need a subway, a Kiabana. It's fundamental to make this city connected. Because without connections, you're nowhere. Because you will never solve this, com which essentially has been a a, a um, mon monopoly game for those who want to play monopoly for a long time. It's creating this suburb on, 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 on super steroids. In order to connect it, you need a tunnel that brings have everybody a possibility to be connect together. That's where this game begins. But those are the big ones. We have to have to start somewhere. So, this fragmentation can be seen as a problem or as an opportunity. Each of these fragments have a life. Each of them is a grund, grund, a potential for growth and change that contains intelligence in the form of people, in the form of habits, in the form of street systems, in the, we, we, all this divided business is something we can spend our time talking endlessly about. But let's, let's help all of these fragments to become fully who they are. And there it where it begins. So, it's, ours is a method rather than a project. There are great architects in this country. There's one sitting right over there. He, so, they have wonderful things to work with. But we need a method 
We need an ambition. We, we need an attitude. So, explore the conditions of certain fragments. It identify the seeds, the, the, the potential attractors, and then develop a toolbox that is forever changing. It's cybernetic. It changes all the time. It's depending on some new technology help us to move faster. So we are looking at four of these. Don't forget, there are many of them. We could have taken on any one. But since this is within uh, the, the area we were talking about, we saw all of them in, in trying to develop, and, develop and, and play with the potential. Rhenian is probably where we started. But there's three hundred centrum of the best us. So we believe the river that used to be the connection to the world that so many immigrants before I became an immigrant to the US went out by boat. And since then, it's been a division line. Let's reinvent the river. Let's go back to the river. Let it come in. Let's not fight it. Let it come. Let it be really what it is. And bridging the river, yes, that's fine. That's very nice, but that's ignoring the river. Let's get in the river. So, for example, in this is the solar city, because we are, in fact, developing an energy ecology where each piece is connected so that the whole city is part of making energy and spending energy. And it begins right here with the solar city, with lofts or lunga that we, we build on top of the city, which is a gro the growth, and that will come when, the, when it will come when all those little garage enterprises are beginning to produce. Free Hamna, that is where we will expect. This beautiful project of the lipstick is a signal. But where is the rest of the lipsticks going to go? Where is the whole arsenal of makeup that you need to make, to make a nice life and look good? Well, we need to jump the river, obviously. Because it, this CBD has to expand. And we see this. Always aware of, that, of this tough climate and embracing it. So we create this sort of series of climates, stay from the outside to the inside. So we can, we, it's relatively easy to create this sort of in between climate with plus 10 to 12 degrees, even if it's zero outside. And a, bill, and, and, and a CBD that has plus 18 in the inside it and in the rooms 22, even if the weather is plus 7. That needs to be involved in this view of the internet. So we, we will invite the water. So we learn how to live with it. We learn to embrace it, and we keep other things dry. So we have both. It's always better to have both than only one. So there is a potential here for a district of high density with plenty of apartments for everyone, not just for the wealthy. So how do we do that? We, we, we make this opportunity to, and, and we depress things and get some good verbs and do some great stuff. In the centrum, we construct a wall that is already there in the terms of of, of, of the big rocks and build that wall so we can create a place for a new park, the river park, El Parque. And the El Parque stretches all the way from your opera house, I presume they're singing there now, and the other opportunities to build other public buildings. And then eventually building some housing that will allow people to live on the river on that rock edge. And then plenty of entertainment and sports facilities, and all those wonderful things that we have seen previ in previous presentation. Invite them all, hire them. And then there are other areas, like this one, that we need to also investigate. We can't just look at it, but we haven't, didn't have time for that. We, and then we have to develop a toolkit. For example, this wonderful bridge. There is a bridge in Valgraven that takes two, five days and five suites to open. We can now do it really fast and do, so it's, it's both a board when it goes this way with the river and that way it becomes a bridge really fast. GPS stirred, but from above somewhere. 
So we have all kinds of solar cars, solar cars and so on. But we believe in collective transportation because collective <laughs> transportation helps people come together and be who they are. When, when the subway stops in New York, people start talking to each other. And this city obviously needs to talk to each other. Oh, are you here too? She. <laughs> so that, that wonderful box of tools is always ready to be pulled out, always ready to be worked on. You always have to realize that you never really know. Look, this is how it hangs together. It is very complicated. <laughs> All of it lines up. What's that? <laughs> I'm awake, haven't you noticed? <laughs> CO2, water level, energy, public space quality. All of this hangs together. Mm. You can take any of these, come on, baby. <laughs> And uh, we can take any of these and follow the relationship. And uh, I, I won't take you there, but you can you trust me. <laughs> In the end, we have an energy machine and an energy ecology where we have solar on one end, water storage on another, in production of heat in another, and biofuels. Biofuels is the, is the answer to car traffic. So let's buy nice biofuels, sell it, and so on. Hmm? Well, don't <laughs> <laughs> question. This is a, a, a if there ever was a master plan, I think we'll see this. Does this allow for flexibility? We don't use the word master plan. No, but I did. Yeah, that's the yes. problem. Yeah. I know. So, but, we, don't, we don't believe in masters. Million in amateurs. Okay, but, but, is, but is there a parameters in this plan then? Is there a place for flexibility, changing of the model, adjustment as we go along? Or have you thought it all out in detail already? Well, of course there is. That's the, that's the toolbox. If you begin to study each area, and you begin to understand its value and its richness, and you help those people who live there understand that, they become proud of what they, what they came from, and they're proud of constructing the next layer, like those solar boxes up there in, in Rainier. And obviously, it has to happen. You know, you have to think broadly, far out, but at the same time, you have to act on the floor of the city. And you do that with citizens, otherwise it doesn't work. The, this, the citizens have the only power over these damn politicians. But they never do anything but this, unless you move them. <laughs> and that's where you need people to act to change things. And this city is full of people, wonderful people, smart people, you know. So you have a great opportunity. But if you don't take it by the horns, you're going to be losers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm really pleased to set up the most compelling presentation, I must say. Because it's time to let in the uh, so praise that it has citizens on our now discussion here. So let's have it and Lars. I'll hire this guy. <laughs> <laughs> very inspiring ideas. Um, I think making Gothenburg the center of Scandinavia is great. I mean, it's equal distance from the, the, uh, the capitals, from Oslo, Copenhagen, and Stockholm. So that's something one can really build on. I'm not sure about the underground system. I mean, I, I lived in London for many years, and I hated the underground. I lived in Hampstead, so I had no work in Hampstead. I didn't have to travel, and that's really, it made life much more easy. And I notice now when I go to London, if I can take a taxi, I much prefer it. So I'm not sure. I mean, there is a discussion in, I think it's Darwin's Nehetter, about the, the future transport in Stockholm. And there they're talking about using the, the tram. 